16-year-old Preston Radke was born with rod cone dystrophy, a condition of the retina that has left him with limited eyesight. I can see mostly out of the corners of my eye. I can see colors as long as there's a good like deception or something. Yeah. Like if there's black on white or something. About seven years ago, Preston discovered goal ball. The sport was created in 1946 to rehabilitate visually impaired World War II veterans. Today, it's a worldwide game played by thousands. Dennis Warnma is one of Preston's coaches. It's a three-pound ball. It's got eight holes drilled through it, three bells on the inside, so it rings. Um, to make it fair, because it's for blind and visually impaired athletes, all the athletes on the floor have to wear blacked-out goggles, so nobody sees a thing. Players on offense toss the ball at high speeds. On defense, they lay flat, defending their goal, putting every body part in harm's way to keep the other team from scoring. At just 16, Preston is one of the sport's up-and-coming stars. His coaches rank him among the top upcoming goal ballers across the country. I notice sometimes when you throw the ball, it, you, it seems to hit the ground right away. Like you like it to bounce sometimes. Yeah, it, I like it to bounce because then if, let's say the team's down in form, if they're doing perfect form or imperfect form, it could hit maybe their top leg or their top arm or the upper part of their body that's on the floor on its upper rotation. Thus, it would bounce over their body and into the goal. I love his throw. He works on that throw. Um, his offense um, is going to be fantastic. When he starts to fill out, if he did a little weight training and things like that, he'll be throwing that ball 50 miles an hour. Goal ball can leave players bruised and battered with its three-pound ball hurling at speeds up to 50 miles per hour at players of all ages and genders. How old are you? I'm 11. 11? Yes. And you were, you were out here uh, playing with these guys? Yes. It's very, well, they're really big and they throw really hard. <laughs> yeah. So you get hit with that impact and it just, to me, it feels like so, ugh. I picked up that ball. Like, there's no way I would let somebody whip this at me at 30 miles an hour. Oh, were you getting bruised and battered when you first went out there and tried this? I still am. You still, you still are. My thing is you have to do it. Because if you don't, you, it scores. Um... But it's not something I'd go out of my way to do. But obviously I'd come here every Monday, so I kind of do go out of my way to do it, but still. While the sport can be tough for a mother to watch, Preston's parents have noticed its positive impact on their son. It's oh, I guess. more confident, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, in dealing, talking to people, because he feels that he can do something that other people can't do. All right, there are various goalball tournaments throughout the year. You can contact the Great Lakes Adaptive Sports Association if you or some of you know wants to get involved. I have a link to their website on my Twitter feed at twitter.com slash Marcus Lashock. It's all right up there for you right now. It's a cool right. game. Yeah, I've never it seen like it before. It's getting up in popularity and more people They're trying. It, yeah. They're really trying. They want to get on TV and get popular. And, and they did. Okay. I know. There all you right. go.